What's up? Yeah. Detroit Lions versus Minnesota Vikings. Before I get into that, let me go get into the San Diego Chargers talk against the Lions thing. I know it's over, but don't forget. I, I see Chargers fans. Well, some of them is cool, but then some of them just talking shit like, uh, we the better team. Yeah, you was the better team that day. I give you credit. You beat our ass. We choked. We played conservative, but don't forget, you guys was down 21-3. And we haven't played conservative. You want to want shit, okay? And we went. We played conservative. We played it safe, and we lost the game. Plain and simple. And our defense, our defense was gassed because we kept going three and out, playing conservative. The play calling was terrible. The offensive line was terrible. But I'm gonna get into that with the Vikings. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the same. I'm gonna tell you some things about that shit though. But yeah, y'all won. Congratulations. Now get the fuck on. Okay. I I don't hate the Chargers. I don't hate the Chargers. However, I don't hate the Chargers. However, you better. You better. Um. How can I say this? You better put up or shut up. What I mean is, like, don't talk shit if you y'all ass can't back it up. Because I seen charges, I see charges be talking shit. Like over the years, they talk shit and then they choking towards the end of the fucking season. So please, please do that. Like back your back your mouth with what your mouth say. You know what I'm saying? We Super Bowl. We're going to be Super Bowl contenders and Super Bowl champions and shit. I don't see the Chargers going to the Super Bowl. I, I still think they ways away. They need their defense. I, I know they play decent against the Lions, but really, they we still dropped 28 on their ass, though. Just think about that shit for a second. And we could have dropped more points if we haven't went conservative. Just to, just to I'm just telling you that right now. So think of your defense is not that damn good. I'm going to just tell you that right now. But I don't see San Diego beating teams right now. I don't see them beating teams like New England. Definitely fucking not. I don't see them beating Baltimore in the playoff game or towards the um, end of the season. I don't see them beating Baltimore in December. I don't see them beating uh, the Colts in December or some meaningful teams and shit. And that <clears throat> the Colts or, hell, the Buffalo Bills, if they are content playoff contender this year, I don't see them beating the Buffalo Bills. Cause that defense is gonna be a motherfucking gonna be a motherfucking monster this year. Um, yeah, and they got they got to contend in their own division to even think about fucking Super Bowl. You gotta be Denver first. I don't see them beating Denver. <laughs> you gotta beat Denver, and shit, you struggle against Kansas City. <laughs> shit, you gotta beat them motherfuckers. The Raiders, you ain't gotta worry about the Raiders. They they. Try to beat them up, fuckers. They they beat them up. But I'm just saying, like, shit. They struggle against the Chiefs, and they bear, and they really don't beat Denver. So, like, you gotta calm down with that Super Bowl talk just because of one game. Shit, the Lions could still turn the bitch around and go into the Lions and Vikings game. The Vikings fans talking shit. The NFL media, ESPN, New. Um, NFL Network <clears throat> talking shit, just saying how they man the Vikings is so fucking overrated. It's not even funny. People talking about they gonna be the fucking they gonna be contender with Green Bay and how they gonna go to the playoffs and maybe win a playoff game. Get the fuck out of here just because. Oh, oh, so the Lions don't mean shit now since Adrian Peterson is back. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, since Adrian Peterson back, the child abuser. Oh. The Lions just the Lions just a six and ten team again, huh? Oh, really? Get the fuck out of here, man. Man, if I I can pull up a statistic right now. In the past five years, the Lions are six and three against the Vikings. We have a winning record on the Vikings in the past five years. Seriously. Last year we swept them motherfuckers. <laughs> I think it was two years in this this year in two thousand eleven we swept the fucking Vikings. 
How the fuck? How the how, in 2013, they, we split with them, and we lost against them in that last game because we put out all our fucking starters because we know our season was fucking over, okay? So, cut the bullshit out. This Vikings team is so overrated. It's, it's, not, it's not really Vikings fans itself. It's the media that's hyping them the fuck up more so than anything. <clears throat> Talking about how the Vikings going to be this, how they going to do that. Oh, child abuse is back. Oh, oh, they're they're eleven win, twelve win team. Get the fuck out of here. Even with Adrian Peterson, they're not a they're not a twelve win team. I'm sorry, they not. <laughs> They'd be lucky to win eight games this year. Shit. I I think man, I think they may win eight games, maybe not, but I don't, I don't see them be. They gotta go through the Lions first to even contend with Green Bay, and they they can't beat the Lions for shit, not for real. <laughs> So, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Overrated ass defense. That defense so fucking overrated. Oh, that defense is way more superior than the Lions defense. Get the fuck out of here, man. Carlos Hyde made you look like bitches. Get the fuck out of here. God, this is a fucking joke. ESPN and NFL Network are hyping them up and shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm tired of this shit. Y'all just act like y'all forgot we went 11 and 5 last year. I know because of our defense. Our defense might take a dip, but our offense might take a significant step up. So don't still don't count us the fuck out, okay? Don't count us out for shit. That's what I'm saying. Don't count us out for shit. And in this game, man, keys the keys for the for the Lions to win against the Minnesota Vikings because the Vikings they're gonna be ready to play this Sunday. They gonna be ready to win this game. What what's that motherfucking name? Everson Griffin or whatever his fucking name is. Uh, this motherfucker guaranteeing a fucking victory against us, man. Please get the fuck out of here, man. <clears throat> you and your overrated ass, sorry ass defense ain't gonna do shit. Okay, man. Stafford gonna carve your ass up like he always fucking does. So and. I expect Calvin Johnson to have a big day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Also, I expect Amir Abdullah to have a big day. The Lions, if they want to win this game, though, we're going to have to run that rock, take time of possession, run, run, and run the shit out of this. Man, because they can't stop the run, man. I, I see this team being a bad run-stopping team. They can't stop the run to save their fucking life. They can't stop us. They can't stop us, <laughs> it, especially if Amir Abdullah getting more carries this week. Joy Bell, man, I like Joy Bell, but he's not a number one back. Let's let's keep it real, motherfucker. Let's keep it real, Jim Caldwell. What the fuck? This dude throwing out Joy Bell like the Cincinnati Bengals was throwing out Ben Jarvis Green Ellis when they had Giovanni Bernard on the fucking team, and Giovanni Giovanni Bernard was clearly outplaying the veteran running back in Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. I don't get I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Just because he's a veteran, he gotta be the day one starter. He gotta be a starter because he's been playing in the league. What the real talk, what the fuck Joy Bell had proven to get the number one running back spot? Tell me, please I know I like Joy Bell, but what, what has he proven? He haven't never got a thousand yards in the season. He could have had last season if he didn't have tunnel vision, okay? He's not a number one back. I like Joy Bell, but he's not a number one back. Use him in thir in short yard situations, okay? He's not a number one back. Amir Abdullah is a fucking beast. You drafted him in the second round for a reason. He might be the best when it's all said and done, Amir Abdullah might be the best running back to come out of this fucking draft. Use the motherfucker. He has speed. He has elusiveness. And he can find a fucking hole. Joy Bell don't have none of that shit. He don't have... Joy Bell doesn't have speed. One thing he does have over Abdullah is trucking and, and power, but that's it. Amir Abdullah is faster than Joy Bell. He, he has better vision than Joy Bell. And he's more dangerous in open field than Joy Bell. And he's a home run threat. Unlike Joy Bell. Okay? 
I, I'm tired of, oh, he's a veteran. He automatically becomes a starter. Get the fuck out of here with that philosophy. Shit, fucking stupid. Dumbass philosophy. Oh, he he's he's a starter by default because he's been playing for five, six fucking seasons. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of coaches thinking that way. That shit, if he don't start in this fucking game, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Oh, my God, I'm going to be mad as hell. <laughs> Fuck. I want to see if Zach Zinner in that motherfucker. Zach motherfucker Zinner. The fuck you thought? Zach Zinner, he got more potential than Joy Bell. For one, <clears throat> he's a little bit faster than Joy Bell. Number two, he's a better blocker than Joy Bell. Number three, I mean, fuck. He's a bet. I ain't going to say he's a better receiver, but he, he just has more potential. He just as good as Joy Bell is right now, and this is his first season as a running back. If he just as good as Joy Bell is right now, that means his potential is better than Joy Bell's. I'm just saying. Use Zach Zenner. Use fucking Abdullah and run that fucking ball. Tired of shit. Oh, my God. Number two. Don't play conservative. Don't play it safe. Don't be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we are, we are fucking nineteen to seven. Oh, we, oh, going to the second. Oh, we cool. We ain't gonna play no fuck. We ain't gonna take chances down the field. We are gonna be dinking and dunking all goddamn game. If you want to throw the ball, Stafford is not a fucking dink and dunk. Captain Shakedown, pussy ass quarterback, okay? He's a gunslinger. I've been telling everybody this for years. He's a gunslinger. He throws bombs down the field. That's his strength. Stretching the field, going vertical. That's his strength, okay? Stafford is not a bubble screen motherfucker. Bubble screen, quick slot route, with, uh, quick slant route fucking guy. He's not that type of uh, quarterback. He's a downhill passer. That's He's like Brett Favre. He's exactly like Brett Favre. He plays the same way. Stafford is a gunslinger, just like Brett Favre. Okay? So use make him play to his strength. Okay? Shit, I'm sick and tired of this conservative-ass shit. Shit, man, that shit irritates me. And God damn it, get the ball to make a child more, man. Stop playing. Stop, stop acting like a bitch with Kyler, man. He still can go up and get that shit. Stop fucking playing around. They acting like he lost his athleticism. Get the fuck out of here. Calvin Johnson can still go up and get and catch over three, four motherfuckers at his age right now, at age 30. He still can go up and get that bitch. So don't tell me, oh, we, you know, Stafford's in the interview. We was giving what the, what, what the defense was taking us. We was giving what the defense was taking man. Fuck that shit. We was get oh we we guys guys we was giving what the defense was we was taking what the defense was giving us. I meant to say we was taking what the defense was giving us. If that was the case, we should have ran the fucking ball. But yeah, man, Calvin Johnson, man, that dude's a fucking beast, and you're not using him. Fucking idiot. The fuck. I expect him to get more pat more catches in this game, but still, you get the point. Fuck this conservative fucking play calling. Fuck that shit. Throw that shit out the window. If you if you want to be eight and eight, seven and nine, play conservative. But if you want to win ten plus games, you better you better play to Stafford's fucking strength. Seriously, make Stafford. If you want to make Stafford the fucking man, you better make sure he takes fucking shots down the field, like the old Stafford, the Stafford old, the 2011, 2013 Stafford. Okay. The two thousand, the rookie Stafford, make him take motherfucking shots down the field. That's what he do. We don't play that pussy ass bubble screen shit. Take that garbage ass shit off the fucking game. Shit. I mean, I don't mind him doing bubble screens every now and then. Little bubble screen fucking um, running back screens and shit every now and then. But fuck, don't do that shit every fucking play. Throwing, throwing behind a line of scrimmage. I'm going to get to defense in a second, but fuck that conservative fucking play calling, man. That shit garbage. Shit's trash. 
That's why we lost against the Dallas Cowboys to fucking begin with. That's one of the main reasons why. Despite the fucking in defensive, in I mean, pass interference call being not being a no call. That's the reason why we lost the fucking game because we went conservative as fuck. We can't do that shit. <clears throat> Have you not learned your lesson from the last playoff game? Stop being so fucking conservative. The best teams is not conservative. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The best teams is not conservative. Fuck. I mean, <clears throat> they trying to make <coughs> they trying to make Stafford play like motherfucking Peyton Manning. He's not Peyton Manning. Okay? That's not his style. Pey Peyton Manning doesn't have the arm strength for Matthew Stafford to throw bombs down the field. He doesn't. Stafford has the he has a way stronger arm than Peyton Manning. And actually he has the strongest arm in the NFL, so why not use the motherfucker, okay? I wanna see him get fucking forty yard passes turn into motherfucking touchdowns and shit. The fuck? I wanna see more touchdowns out of Stafford, man. I'm tired of this conservative shit. I'm I'm so fucking pissed about that game. Oh my god. And run that motherfucking rock more. Against this sorry ass run deep, overrated ass run defense. The sorry ass defense in general, they overrated as fuck. I've been saying they overrated before the season even started. I think the Vikings is very media sucking their dick for no fucking reason, though. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Shit. Even Green Bay see us as a bigger threat than you motherfuckers. Green Bay know we have a way better chance of beating them than you motherfuckers do. Shit. I'm not going back by all the last season, but seriously, let's keep it real, people. We're the Lions still a better team than the Vikings. And the Lions is going to be a contender for the fucking division and might win the fucking division. So shut that shut that Vikings bullshit down. Right the fuck now. Stop, stop drinking the fucking Kool-Aid of ESPN or whoever fuck feeding that shit to you. Now, anyway, another, now the defensive side of the ball for the Lions to win. We can't be giving fucking receivers free releases off the line of scrimmage, man. That that in the Chargers game, then Keenan Allen free releases. This motherfucker got a first down off a third and nineteen play. That shit pissed me off to the fucking extreme. This motherfucker getting free releases and shit. I understand Rasheed Mathis kind of do give him a free release because he he don't have the speed to keep up with these receivers anymore because he's old, but. Still, he played like dog shit in the last game. I don't want to see that shit again. All right. As far as Darius Slay, they say he injured, but he gonna play. I think he, I think they say he gonna play this game, but still, like fuck, shit's fucking aggravating. Like, stop giving these motherfucking receivers free fucking releases. Again, motherfucker, damn near ten yards off the fucking receiver. Like, if. That that's the same shit you did against New England last year, and they fucking raped your ass. Rob Gronkowski fucking raped this fucking team. Rob Gronkowski, Tim White, and motherfucking Elderman was raping the fuck out of our fucking defense last year because we played. We gave him a free release off the line of scrimmage, playing ten yards off the fucking receiver, and that was really pissing me off. And that pissed me off against the Chargers, playing way too far off the receiver. Why? Why? <clears throat> shit. I know Phil Rivers is a little different than Tom Brady. Phil Rivers will take more shots down the field than Tom Brady, but still, the, you get the picture, though. Stop giving the fucking free releases. I want to see more press coverage, man to man. Shit. For real. That's why we were so successful. And stop blitzing so fucking much. I know. I don't mind them blitzing, though. I don't mind them blitzing. Just don't overdo it. Don't do it too much. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be predictable. And <clears throat> get Josh Bonds out the fucking game, cause he's he fucking garbage. He fucking trash. I wanna see Kyle Van Noy in that motherfucker. Since Levy ain't gonna play this week. I think he like I said, he's gonna be back by week three. I wanna see motherfucking Kyle Van Noy in for motherfucking Bonds, cause Bonds is fucking garbage. I'm sorry. He he's trash. He's trash to me. I I don't like him. He was getting he was getting butt fucked in the ass all fucking game against the Chargers. Hell man Tuller was getting butt fucked in the ass. They missing tackles and shit. Motherfuckers getting stiffed arm. That shit was embarrassing. Our defense was absolutely 
fucking embarrassing. The Lions gave up the most points. No, excuse me. The Lions had the worst defense <clears throat> in the league last week. We had the worst defense. That was just a fucking joke. We can't play like that again, man. Fuck that shit. And we got to make adjustments when we need to on the fucking defensive side. But I don't want to see our defense play like that no fucking more. But I don't think we will, but I don't want to see this shit no fucking more. Now, I see the Lions getting to... Honestly, if they plan, if the Vikings plan on passing the ball, good luck because the Lions are going to be getting to your ass. I don't think... we ain't, Our defense is not going to play the same way we did last week. We're going to be... We gonna be from the get go. We gonna be aggressive as fuck. We gonna we gonna manhandle the fucking Vikings, man. If Adrian Peterson, if we bottle up Adrian Peterson, that's the end. That's the end for them. You bottle up Adrian Peterson, game over. Game over. Seriously, game over. That's the end of the game. Cause I don't see Bridgewater doing shit. He gonna get sacked every time we say hi. He gonna he gonna get a defensive end breathing down his fucking neck. Either Jason Jones or Ziggy Ansah. And hello, Nada, he got to step up in this game, which I think he will. I think the Lions will win this game. They will try to make a statement in this game because the last game was a fucking embarrassment. I don't want to see that shit again. <clears throat> but the Vikings, man, that overrated-ass team, man, they so fucking overrated about it. ESPN, Dick Ryan asses, mainly NFL Network, and maybe a couple of fans on YouTube talking about, oh, and predict it. People that make the predictions on YouTube tomorrow, oh, the Vikings will be better than the Lions. Get the fuck out of here. They can't even beat the fucking Lions for real. How the fuck they gonna beat the Lions? They can't even beat the Lions. <laughs> Shit. The fuck? And they're not gonna be second in this division. Because I see Green Bay sweeping the motherfuckers. So how the fuck they gonna be second in the division? The Lions have a good potential of sweeping the motherfuckers. So how the fuck they gonna be. How the fuck they gonna go talking for? Shit. <laughs> Shit. They lost against the Fagger Niners. How the fuck you gonna beat <laughs> the Lions, man? I, I don't get it. Overrated ass team. I, I hate I hate them. I hate them this year, man. I wanna crush that that joke of a fucking team. Crush their bitch asses. I'm sick of this shit. I don't hate all bike I don't really hate the Vikings like like the fans, not all of them. Some fans is cool, but then some of them just piss me off. Like, like y'all ain't improved that much over one season. It's gonna take y'all a couple of years to become become a good team. It's gonna take y'all a few years. It's not gonna be just oh, child abuse are back. Oh, twelve and four. Fuck it. No, it doesn't work that way. It don't work that way. NFL don't work that way. Shit, I don't give a fuck what team you is. It don't work that way. Oh, Charlie Bills are back. Oh, they going twelve and four. Fuck you, the Lions ain't shit. They going nine. They going seven and nine, eight and eight. That's a fucking joke. The fuck is wrong with you people? Damn, that's so fucking stupid. What's wrong with you? Don't be surprised if the Lions go eleven and five, twelve and four this year. Don't be surprised. Or 10, 10 to 6 at the worst. Don't be surprised we went over 10 games this year. Despite our fucking schedule. And you want to put them over us? They can't even beat the 49ers. And the 49ers are not even that good. And I see the 49ers losing this Sunday against the Steelers. How, how, the, how the fuck? How the, whatever, man. The Vikings is a fucking joke. I'm tired of this fucking media hype. God damn, I'm so fucking pissed. I got nothing too much to say about this, man. I'm out this motherfucker, dog. I'm out. Bye, dog. Fuck it.